listen up. This, this uh, video is one you put together and showed the team tonight, and uh, it tells a little bit about them. So, if you're here with us. Every man in this room tonight, There have been 25 years of Aggie football playoffs so far. What will our story be? What will our challenge be? What will be the memory of this 2010 season that will resonate with all Aggie fans present and in years to come? What memories will you take from this season, especially our seniors who will play their last game on Kyle Field tomorrow night against the Corn Oscars? My hope, my dream, my vision is that they will say that the 2010 team was not just a good team, but a great team. I've always dreamt of greatness for this program, and it is something that has eluded us in recent history. Before the Oklahoma War, we talked about the timeless victory of the Americans versus the Russians in the 1980 Olympics. The Americans did something that night that was improbable, but certainly not impossible. The story of that team rewrote history never be forgotten. Now we are writing our own story. We have crossed over into another realm with our recent victories. A victory over Nebraska is not only possible, but it's to be expected. Our expectations are greater. Our thirst for victory is even more intense as this season nears its conclusion. These are the consequences of winning that I talked about. And it's what we want right now as we strive together for greatness. I've often mentioned of taking the next step. We've taken many steps over this past season, but none greater than the one we take tomorrow night on Kyle Field in front of a national television audience. But more importantly, in front of 90,000 Aggies who came not just to see you play a football game, but to see you win a football game. Lean on the door of the Aggies. They will lift you up. They will inspire you to do extraordinary things. Lean on each other as well. For 60 minutes on that field, you have each other. We cannot give our fans, nor each other, and certainly not the Nebraska Cornhuskers, anything less than our best. We don't have to reinvent ourselves or have a special formula or scheme to be something we are not. We just have to be ourselves. We have to be the best of ourselves. Give everything, save nothing, and we'll find our way to greatness. I've often said that greatness is not claimed, but earned. You definitely have paid that price with all that you've done from January through November. If we truly want to be great, and I know you do, we must assume the responsibility that goes with that. You're responsible to each other. You're responsible to this team. You're responsible to Texas A&M. The responsibility rests upon our shoulders as a team, not on one person or player. A team that believes in each other, trusts each other, cares about each other. A team that has one heartbeat, one pulse, one goal, and that is to win. But I think this game kind of brought us tied together as a team. You know, adversity only makes you stronger. We didn't break apart. That's one thing that, that if, if you take anything from this game, we stay together and we know that you know, we can win both games. A lot of adversity was just everywhere. You know, but it's just a matter of you staying focused, uh, picking up your teammates, uh, uplifting them, and just, and just being ready to go. Just, just seeing who wants it. I looked everybody in the eye and I let them know that I was here for them. And I was going to get my best, I mean, no matter what. And I expect the same thing out of them. And I just told everybody, you know, right now, you know, we call it uh, four, four, going to the full crew. Told everybody right now, it's time. Let's go take it. And that's what we did. When we're sitting on the sideline telling our coaches, we should we gotta run the ball. We're gonna win the game running the ball and, and that's what we did. If everybody, you know, works together on the defense we're running, you know, we're confident that, you know, we're gonna be able to make a play. It's, it's not about the size of the dog in a fight, you know, it's, it's about the dog that's willing to fight to the death. You know, this team is resilient. Uh, we have five on the team that it'll do anything to win. Your will to win will define you tomorrow. It will be evident in all that you do from the second we enter onto the field to the last second is ticked off the game clock. The fanatical effort you will display will be your trademark. You will be your identity. Tomorrow night will not be easy. It will be challenging, but it will be one of the greatest moments in your life. I'm proud of this football team. I'm proud of the football players you have become. I'm proud of the men you've become, and I'm very proud of this team that you have become. As I've said before, and I'll say it again, tomorrow night is our night. This is our time. Our time alone, not theirs. We will do it as one team that shows a spirit totally unique to us, the 2010 football team.